Hey, what's up, Torgi Pro here, and I have a new video for you today. We are going to do your biggity, and uh, we are going to configure this one and set this one up. But before we are going to do those ones, we are going to look into the network diagram so that we have a base understanding of what we're trying to achieve. So this is the network diagram we are going to set up. We call it a point-to-point -point setup, and we are going to use this Nanobeam Air Max AC. Now, the main problem here is Building B doesn't have internet connection. And we have internet connection on building A. They are separated at around 300 meters. Now this Nanobeam Air Max has a capability up to 15 kilometers. But we are into the 450 megabit throughput of this one. That's why we selected the Nanobeam because we will be transferring large amount of data from building A and building B. We are going to use this Nanobeam Air Max, configure them to work point to point, and then we'll be able to share internet connection between buildings and at the same time, access data between building A and building B. We have two nano beams right here. We are going to put a removable tape and try to write on the IP address so that we will not be confused on what we're going to do. So we have the first one here, that's 192.168.1.20 and 192.168.1.30. Now let's go ahead and try to put these back panel holders we can use to mount this nano beam so that you can actually see how you can do it. Gives a very easy way to assemble this uh, nano beam. There's also an indicator here that says polarity align that will help us easily mount and align our nano beams. Let's just go ahead and assemble the other one also. Okay, let's go ahead and plug our power injectors and try to power up our nano beam ready for our configuration. So plug this one on the POE indicated there because the LAN is for our input and uh, we have a power here already. You can see the blue light. Now we'll do this one with the other nano beam also. Let's go ahead and plug into the first device. Okay, so we need to set our computer to be in the same subnet of the first access point. So let's set the IP address here for 192.168.1.10 and submit mask. And default gateway, we don't need it because we are just going to use it for configuration. Okay, so we're going to save this one. Okay, let's open up our browser and put the IP address of the Nanobeam. That's 192.168.1.20. That is the default IP address for this Ubiquiti product. You can always check that one on the box. Let's continue with this one. Advance, proceed to the login portal. Username, default username and password is on the box also. So you can check that one and then agree login. Okay, it's prompting us to change the password. So we are going to change that one. Remember to always change your password for the first time. So put in the current password, new password, verify the new password, and then change. Alright, well, let's go ahead and configure this one. We can start with the station PTP. The other one would be access point, but this one would be station PTP. Let's put in the SSID. That would be Trogi Pro PTP. We can leave the others by default. Uh, we only need a few things to get this one working. Let's get into the security here. WPA2 and then PSK and then the password. Now always remember this one because we are going to use this one on the other nano beam configuration. The same is true with the SSID. We're going to save this. Let's navigate to the network tab. You can see here it's on bridge mode and configuration simple. Then the IP address, we're not going to change it because we label this one as the 192.168.1.20. So we can leave that one by default also. Let's go to my dashboard, check this one. No one's connected. So we're going to plug in the other one and configure this one also. I just plug in the other device. So we are going to wait for this one for a while. It says they're waiting for the device. And okay, there you go. It refreshed and that's 192.168.1.20 because that's the default IP. Let's put in the default username and password. Let's change the username and password for this device. And at the same time, save this one. Okay, let's configure this one, go to settings, and then network. We need to change the IP address for this one first. Since this is labeled as 192.168.1.30, we save this one. Then we're going to wait because we changed the IP, so it needs to. we need to reconnect with the device again. 
So this has refreshed already. That's 1 to 30. We're good. And advance. Proceed to 1 to 30. Log in. Okay, we're in. So yes, we're not connected yet because we need to configure this one. And go to settings. Okay, this is where we set this one as access point PTP. And then put in the SSID that we are going to use. That's Torogi Pro PTP. Let's set up the wireless security. The same thing we did with the first one. Put in our password. Then we save this one. Now let's go to our dashboard and we can see that we have the local device. This is the device we're connected in. And then we have the remote SSID, Torogi Pro. You can also see the distance here. They're still close because they're here in my table. There are a lot of details we can see here in use like the transmission that's 655 megabits per second. And the receiver is 655 megabits per second. Latency and a lot more. There are a lot more we can do here, like antenna align, site survey, speed test, discovery, so we can see both devices we have already configured, and more. So those are the basic configuration we need to have our nano beam work into point-to-point -point mode. So I hope you have learned something from this video, and until next time, goodbye.